Hello everyone, it's Mike here with Hampton Park Honey and it is a sunny September afternoon and I'm just hanging out here right next to my little, I call it my oopsie hive. It was one that tried to swarm earlier so I uh, had to split it and put the old queen in here and then uh, let the other one raise up its queen uh, so that they wouldn't end up uh, swarming off somewhere but so I've got this extra hive that's actually doing pretty well well the queen did die on me uh, long story but um, learning process but I uh, replaced her earlier in the season with a Martha Carpenter mite mauler uh, that is a type of bee that has been bred to have higher attack rate of chewing up those destructive varroa mites. By the way, it's September, it's National Honey Month. So, happy National Honey Month to all you beekeepers, both professional full-time or hobbyist backyard beekeepers like myself, uh, or even you honey enthusiasts out there who thankfully helped me fund my hobby uh, with your purchase of my honey. So uh, anyways, yeah, my mite mauler bees are doing pretty well. They are, actually I just did a mite count on them and out of 300 bees, there was one mite per 300. So not bad so far. I mean, I'm never gonna say that any one race of bees is completely mite resistant and that they'll never ever need treatment. As a matter of fact, I've got 12 per 300, one of my other original colonies. So I have to start addressing that. That's getting into like, uh, dangerous territory but anyways they are um, still doing pretty well and um, as an update I also did a uh, late summer harvest of honey as you know I've been selling my spring harvest which was everything leading up until mid-June I had a very big supply of that yet even with that I had some that was only partially filled, not fully harvested, and uh, I let them go. And I, at the end of August, mm. I harvested another five-gallon bucket full of honey. So, what is that, beekeepers? About seventy pounds more. So, I'm not running out of honey anytime soon. You guys keep uh, asking me, "Oh, are you still have honey available?" The answer is, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, it's great." So, uh, a lot of people have been buying it for even anticipating for Christmas gifts. So. Uh, I do certainly encourage people that uh, to use any kind of sweeteners. Honey is so much better for you than natural, than uh, cane sugar or certainly high fructose corn syrup. And always keep in mind that there is a lot of uh, fake honey out there. As a matter of fact, if there's something that's sold super cheap, then uh, there, that is a very suspect thing. Uh, things that come out of China can be, they are perpetually playing this game of faking honey and making it look real. One of the first things they should always look on a label is, is it, is the only ingredient honey? I mean, it sounds pretty simple, but it's just like, <laughs> that if there was something that was like used as like, you know, something honey syrup or something like that, yeah, then it's probably a little honey mixed with a lot of something else. That's not pure honey. Um, so yeah, it's always a start thing, but it is always good to stick with local and uh, or at least stick with a you know, good reputable beekeeper who uh, even if they're on a mass scale if they are you know, doing a uh, uh, you know working on especially the raw unfiltered honey that could be a, a, just a great way to have all the additional nutrients the, the pollens and some of the other things that doesn't make it uh, doesn't eliminate some of the enzymes that are naturally present in the honey but uh, yeah enjoy I, so, I know i do i like it with my coffee i like it with my uh yogurt greek yogurt uh, you know like a parfait with an unsweetened uh, greek yogurt some berries and then honey on top man what a great blend but anyways happy national honey month everyone and uh have a great fall